I'd like to introduce you to ResearchGate, which is a social networking tool for researchers, and I think it could be particularly useful for students. Now, the first thing you have to do is sign into ResearchGate and create an account for yourself, and that's absolutely free. But let me show you some of the features that could be useful to you. Well, first, once you've signed in and put in a picture or some sort of visual representation of yourself, you click on it and you can begin adding articles or conference papers, or at this point you may have nothing to add and that's fine, but eventually you will add things to this. You don't need to add information to start off. Now, the important thing though, to establish your digital identity as a researcher or potential researcher is identify your skills and expertise, topics that you're interested in, your research experience, if you have any, your education experience, and you can also put in other experiences here, depending on what you do for a living. And you can identify your contact information. You can see here that there are people that you might be following or followers, but I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So this is a way of identifying what you're interested in, what your skills are, so that information can be actually sent to you and for others to know about you. The second useful aspect of this tool is you are able to search for publications. Now, I know you can do that in the library, but you can search for really new publications, ones that are hot off the proverbial digital press or conference papers or even idea papers. And that can be really useful if you're starting to look for a topic or trying to figure out an area to focus on. The other really interesting thing is once you find a publication, you will know the author. And if you think the publication is good, you can start following the author and you can actually contact the author through ResearchGate and ask questions. Can't do that of paper or digital papers, usually from the library. So this is a great tool to start interacting with people and researchers and asking questions. As I said, you can also follow researchers. So once you read a paper, you could search the researcher up. Maybe you've just got a paper copy and you can search the researcher up and start following them and develop a list. Here's my list down here and you can start to develop your list, focusing on topics that people are doing research on that you might like to do research on. The other cool feature is that you can ask questions. So by clicking on questions here, you can type in a simple question and then you can follow up with a little more detail in the context of your question. So trying to find resources about flipped learning, for example, or maybe you're trying to find good papers or recent reviews of multimedia in mathematics, something like that. You can ask any question and you can engage in dialogue with other researchers or even your peers. Finally, once you have identified your information, remember we went to info and you picked topics that you were interested in, and you started following researchers, well, if you click on publications, all publications in your field of research and your interests will be listed here. That's very useful so that you can, for example, set up, if you want to just focus on flipped learning, you can set that up and all the most recent articles and conference papers listed in that area will be listed here. So that's quite valuable. So those are some reasons why you might like to join ResearchGate.